Hi guys. A week back, Vikram had posted a problem. We are going to do the math together. Let's first understand the problem. So this plan is a money back policy. Here is the example. 20,000 is <coughs> the sum assured and the yearly premium when I paid is 1,288, which because it is a money back policy, once in five years, he gets certain amount back. So 20% of the sum insured, he gets 4,000 at the end of fifth year. At 10 years, he gets another 4,000. Then he gets another 4,000 in the 15th year. And 20th year, when the policy matures, he gets the remaining which is 40 percent of the sum measured which is 8000 and whatever is vested bonus he gets at the end of 20 years the bonus that Vinay actually got was 18580 is LIC does invest the money that it receives in different uh, investment schemes majority of that into government bonds and the returns that it gets is distributed back to the policy holder and these are not guaranteed so depending on what um, interest that LIC earns every year it declares a bonus and this amount which is declared is accrued which means that it gets added as the vested bonus in your policy but is only paid at maturity so which means that on year five if the declared bonus is let's say thousand rupees it is there in the account as vested bonus but this thousand is paid at the end of 20 years and this thousand does not again earn any returns for the 15 years but it just is there and is paid back to you at the end of 20 years we need to calculate what is the rate of return <coughs> i'm going to put the years here we know let's put in the amount of money that vinay put paid each year is 1288 right i am going to put minus because it went from vinay's pocket so he paid for 20 years he paid 1288 what did he get from lic can i say returns lic returns at the end of fifth year he got 4000 the end of 10 years he got 4000 15 years he got 4000 the end of 20 years 1000 then gets a bonus vested bonus at the end of 20 years was 18580 18580 was the best vested bonus so net returns without bonus i'm going to split this into two parts with bonus and without bonus because bonus is not guaranteed and it may it is declared each year by lic so we do not know upfront what it is it may be higher it may be lower so i'm going to add the first two columns and with bonus I'm going to add this plus this okay so with bonus this is the returns what is the total money when I paid I'm going to sum this so you know 
in 20 years he paid 25,000 what he got in terms of some assured 20,000 what he got in terms of bonus 18,000 this is going with bonus this is the total amount got in 20 years Vinay had invested 25,760 and the sum assured was 20,000 which he got at the end of 20 years accrued bonus was 18,580 now there is a function in Excel called internal rate of return if you give a series of cash flows it will give you the rate of interest okay yeah so the rate of returns that when i paid is more than the sum assured so you would have guessed the negative return should be negative so the rate of return so the rate of return here without bonus is minus 7% with bonus it is 6% the rate of inflation in the last 20 years is 7% which means that the compounded annual return that you have got in this including the bonus is less less than the value of money that you invested uh, actually Vinay has made a loss here of 1% compare this to the HDFC top 100 mutual fund Vinay would have got 254,000 You see this the money if it was compounded at 20 percent if 1288 was invested every year on HDFC top 100 mutual fund in compare this and contrast this with this product and the issue is because you see this as an investment product let's contrast the two here without bonus you are earning minus seven percent with bonus it is six percent so Vinay has got net twelve thousand eight hundred and twenty he had invested in HDFC top hundred mutual fund which earned a compounded annual return of twenty percent he would have ended up with two lakh twenty eight thousand eight hundred and twelve at the end of 20 years the risk cover of 20,000 rupees some measured of 20,000 rupees if Vinay had a risk of his life then the sum assured by LIC was 20,000 which is again very small it's important to know what is the rate of return on any investment now the same rate of return is also used in evaluating projects companies in the companies also it would help you uh, if you are given a, an exercise to evaluate by the company 
between project A and project B, which project the company should invest in. Then you can use this method to calculate the rate of return. So whichever offers the higher return should be the project in which the company should invest in. This is also used to show the return on investment. If you are in a uh, pre-sales situation where you are submitting a proposal and the client asks, okay, if I have to invest in project, what is the ROI, return on investment? Then uh, the same calculation can be used to show in the proposal what is the return on investment. Thank you.